The third method of setting up an eCourse is to combine both the HTML and text-based messages. With this method, I take all of the HTML files I created for my eCourse and upload them to my web server. Let's browse to Lesson 1 right now. As you can see, it's at myvirtualpartner.com forward slash eCourse forward slash get underscore with underscore the underscore flow dot html. Since the HTML pages are online, I will be sending out text messages to my readers containing the URL for the online page. So let's go through that process quickly. Log in to one shopping cart. Go to the email and marketing link, then the autoresponder sublink, and select create autoresponders. We'll give the autoresponder a name. I'll call mine mini course get with the flow text.html the name you give here is only for your reference so you can give it a description that will quickly tell you what's inside the course without having to look inside the autoresponder the autoresponder ID is assigned automatically by the system when you hit the save button below so we'll leave that. Direct subscribe enabled refers to the method you want enabled for your opt-in. If you select no that will only allow opt-ins to be managed by a form that is filled out on your website. If you select yes it will enable someone to opt-in simply by sending a blank email message to a specific email address rather than opting in on your website. So I'm just going to leave mine as no We'll skip the unsubscribe autoresponder field and I'm just going to quickly fill out the rest of the form and hit save. Now we're taken directly to a blank autoresponder message and this is where we'll start building our lessons. For the first lesson I want to send a welcome message and the link for lesson one. So I'm going to copy and paste my subject line from my text file that I already have set up here. and then I'm going to copy and paste the message body. Now you'll see that there's an area that's a little blank here where I refer to where the lesson is online. That's where I'll be adding the link for my online lesson. So I'll browse to the online page, copy and paste the URL, and paste it in. It looks a little long, so on second thought, I'm going to browse to tinyurl.com, paste my URL in the input box, and then hit Make Tiny URL. You'll see that the original length was 62 characters, so it's been converted to a tiny URL which has significantly less characters that I will copy and paste into my message body. We do this so that the URL doesn't break when it's being sent to the reader. Then I'll hit save and hit new message and move on to lesson two. I'll set my day delay to two and then copy and paste my subject line. copy and paste my lesson and you'll see that I've already converted the URL in the message body so I won't need to do that here. I'll just hit, hit save and continue with the rest of the lessons in the series. I continue this way until all the messages for the course are set up. Since I have already set up this course in my shopping cart, I'll stop this process here and show you how to insert this code into your web page so that when someone visits your site, their name gets added to this mini course. Go to Email and Marketing, Custom Forms, Create Form. I want to capture their name and their email, and then I'm going to click Next Step. 
I'll leave the thank you URL as the default, but again, you can always change that to a customized page. You would just enter your default URL there. Now, if you've just created a new autoresponder, it will always be listed at the bottom of your dropdown. So I'm going to find the one I just created. And I'm going to click that I want to receive notifications by email every time someone opts in. And then I'm going to click Create Form. Click Select All to highlight all of the code, copy, and then I'm going to switch to Dreamweaver. You'll see that there's a box where I briefly describe the eCourse and invite people to enter their name and email address below. I'll switch to Code View and paste in the code from one shopping cart. Then I'll switch back to Design View and you'll see that the form code has been added. I'm just going to highlight it all and center it just to make it look a little nicer on the form. Delete these extra spaces. Then all I have to do is simply save the file, upload it to my web server, and the course is ready for students to start enrolling in. So that covers the three methods that you can use to set up your automated e-course. E-courses are one of the truly proven ways to boost sales and there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't have one. This tutorial will help you set up the technical aspects of your e-course. Just excerpt some valuable pieces of content from a product you want to promote and you'll be able to create the lessons quite easily. If you'd like a copy of the templates I used in this tutorial, please visit SNP url.com forward slash mini temp m-i-n-i t-e-m-p